Disclaimer. This video is for entertainment and informational purposes only. The views and opinions expressed in this video are those of the creator and do not necessarily reflect the views of any organization. The creator of this video is not responsible for any errors or omissions, or for any actions taken based on the information presented in this video. Viewer discretion is advised. Today, we will focus on the Manhattan Project. It's important to note that in this discussion, we will primarily address aspects that are unrelated to conspiracy theories. While we acknowledge that some researchers may approach it from a conspiracy theory perspective, it is not a prominent or substantial aspect of the overall topic. However, there are some elements related to conspiracy theories particularly the Manhattan Project. This massive plan in the United States is involved in some conspiracy theories. The weight of conspiracy theories in this matter is not too significant, but it exists. It is related to the Manhattan Project, which was a massive plan involving the people of the United States being kept in the dark about certain things. You see, even the appearance of the atomic bomb, like in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, was a result of this project. It happened during the period of 1943, and the Manhattan Project, the atomic bomb plan, was still kept hidden. Until around 1945, that's when, actually, it was gradually revealed, one by one. And now, for the most part, the information we know is already available. So, of course, if we want to investigate, like the Manhattan Project, the conspiracy theories surrounding it, there are still some things that we don't know for sure. But overall, most of the information is already known. However, there is one thing that we need to understand first. Which is that in the Manhattan Project, in the United States, there were actually two parts to it. One, of course, was the development of the atomic bomb. The other part was actually the development of New York, specifically Central Park. So why does it involve this? Well, originally, this Manhattan Project was actually about rebuilding the old city of Manhattan, that part. But, you see, if we are familiar with the history of the East Coast, especially New York, we would understand that beneath Manhattan, particularly beneath Central Park, there are rumors of a very large underground base or a man made structure. Now, of course, the government of New York completely denies this. But these rumors have persisted throughout different eras, and there are still people investigating it. So, this is roughly what we are talking about, the conspiracy theories surrounding the Manhattan Project. There are many stories worth mentioning, so when we have the opportunity. If you're interested, we can discuss them further. Let me tell you the story about Central Park. Well, you see, what exactly happened there? Let's talk about it based on our current understanding. In other words, the premise of this conspiracy theory, how did it start? Actually, as I mentioned earlier, this whole story. A lot of information has been released by now. But there is still a small part that remains unknown. However, during that period or in the beginning, there are some things that we should mention or let everyone know. So, within the general public, this story is being discussed. You see, at the very beginning, it involves Albert Einstein writing a letter 
to the President of the United States at that time, Roosevelt. You can say that, actually, it's not entirely wrong, and it's not entirely right either. Because why? First of all, this plan for the atomic bomb, we can trace it back to certain year, around 1905. When a physicist, whom we all know very well, Albert Einstein, actually, at that time, he published a groundbreaking paper called On the Electrodynamics of Moving Bodies, where he started to propose the theory of relativity. And now, we are very familiar with it, E equals mc squared, based on that equation. So actually, it all started from there, where the discovery and utilization of atomic energy were determined. And it also laid the foundation for the most basic theory. It was in 1938, at that time, it was Italian physicist Enrico Fermi, German physicist Otto Hahn, and Fritz Strassmann, who conducted experiments, using, neutrons, they attacked the atomic nucleus and then nuclear reactions occurred, which is what we understand today as nuclear fission or nuclear fusion, the most basic experiment. It emerged from there, and then calculation started. And it was found that the energy released from one gram of nuclear fission is equivalent to the energy released by burning three tons of coal. The energy released was so significant, and it was released within a very short period of time. According to the calculations at that time, the power had already reached about 20 tons of TNT explosive power. So, it was clear at that time, and that's how the story began from there. So, it was actually only at the theoretical level. It was the conception of the main discovery of nuclear fusion at that time. It turned from the theoretical aspect into practice and the idea of creating an atomic bomb emerged. Actually, it was Germany that was ahead in nuclear fusion research at that time, not the United States. Germany was in a leading position in the world in terms of nuclear fusion research. However, as we all understand, the development of atomic bombs within the Nazi party was very powerful. It was just one step away from success. But the main reason now is that when it comes to the Nazi party, there were many scientists who, because of their own identities, were Jewish. They felt that they were being persecuted by the Nazis, especially during that period. Even scientists who had already traveled abroad for visits, like Einstein, were also banned because they were Jewish. So, as a result, they decided to settle in the United States. Scientists like Fermi, Glaser, and Bohr, famous German scientists, gradually fled Germany and went to the United States. This is the basic story of Manhattan Project. So, we all need to know that the Manhattan Project, the process that took place. Although we now understand that Einstein himself wrote a letter. But afterwards, during the entire project or the entire process. The US government completely prohibited any scientist who participated at that time from having any contact with Einstein. It is indeed because of Einstein's own involvement and his German-Jewish background that his connection to the project became less significant. Therefore, the things he discussed gradually became unrelated to him. So, on the surface, it may seem like a straightforward plan, but the reality may be different. There is another story that has emerged, explaining why these narratives have surfaced. So, first, let's talk about another story. Well, if we're going to discuss it, 
It involves the Nazi Bell and Philadelphia projects. Stay tuned for the next episode as we delve further into this captivating story. We will continue our exploration of the Manhattan Project, shedding more light on its fascinating details and historical significance. Don't miss out on the next installment of this intriguing narrative.